Years ago, the city of Garfield Heights went into fiscal emergency. City leaders thought using traffic cameras to catch speeders would help drive in revenue. But now, as News Channel 5's reporter Alicia Ciccoloni tells us, the city is paying out thousands to residents who were found to be ticketed unfairly. Garfield Heights is a busy place. City officials thought drivers who put the pedal to the metal might help relieve the city's big money problems. They decided to bring in traffic cameras to issue tickets. But when the cameras came several months ago, residents did not like the idea these aren't the regular traffic cameras. Former City Council President Frank Wagner says the cameras are in a non-monitored, non-marked truck, and it's parked all around town. Wagner is no longer in council. He's part of this group called Citizens of Garfield Heights. They want the cameras gone and are pushing it on the November ballot. It was a violation of what I believe are civil liberties. There's no sign that says traffic enforcement camera ahead at all. It's nothing but a speed trap. City officials say anyone driving over 10 miles over the speed limit gets a $100 ticket in the mail. It turns out drivers were getting tickets even though they were staying in that mileage. Now the city is issuing reimbursements to the tune of $100,000. It's poor fiscal management, I think, and poor public administration. But Carla and Steve won't be getting their money back. They got caught going one mile over the limit. I felt that it was unfair. I really felt, I would have felt better getting a ticket from a cop than a camera that I didn't even see sitting there. It's to make money for the city. And if that's what it is, come out and say that. Uh, I'd have a different attitude. Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5. Now the group petitioned and got enough signatures to put an amendment on the November ballot to ban the traffic cameras. They want residents to vote yes on issue 56 to ban those traffic cameras.